Now, I want to ask you a question from a listener, which I do for all of my guests because they like to come on and we think we're going to have a nice time together, but actually I'm just really into free labour. Okay, so rather than me hiring someone, I just get a guest to just answer questions for me. So would you be up for being my free labour person? There's no HR department, so you can't complain. HR department is me. Now let me think about that. No, I'd love to answer a question. Okay. Um, so, let me just find it. Okay, so here's a question. It's it's slightly a cup for um, uh, for clarity if the person is listening. Um, and uh, there was also a couple recently that have been relatively similar. So if you have sent a question in recently, I invite you all to listen because it it I think it's relevant to a lot of us actually. So Becca, life seems quite hard to me and a bit unsatisfying. There's just one thing after another to keep on top of. Kids, work, house stuff, money, parents, friends, health. And that's just the regular stuff without anything bad happening. I'm not particularly anxious. I'm just not really enjoying life very much. There's not much time to pursue leisure activities that I really enjoy or slow down enough to delight in my young family. There's always something else that needs to be done. This seems quite typical of a working parent on the treadmill of life, and my friends say the same. Life feels like an endless to-do list with any combination of old age, poverty, or illness to look forward to in my later years. Can you help me? So, as I said, I think that, that parts of that question, if not the whole thing, will resonate with many people listening. So, firstly, um, I just think the, the common resonance in that is important for us to to realize so if you're struggling with something like that it's not that you're broken or fucked up it's a it's a common thing so becca what where would you maybe point this person what direction would you point them in so yeah like you say siobhan it's really overwhelm isn't it you know even if you're not a parent you've got a ton of stuff to do you've got a to-do list incredibly long and it's it's hard and the first thing I would say is I totally relate to it. You know, if I wrote down what I've done today and then read it back, I actually would probably think, oh my goodness, how did I achieve all that? Or or, or if somebody had given me the list at the beginning of the day, I probably wouldn't have bothered getting up. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so the first thing I wanted to say is I, you know, the listeners listening, or even if they're not listening, but if you can resonate is I get it. I totally get it a hundred percent. And, um, what I would say is to be really curious around is what is what even is that overwhelm? Because mm -hmm. how it looks to me is overwhelm is is really the thought of having to do all those things all at once. Right. OK, so um, say you do 30 things in a day or whatever, then the brain doesn't really split that down and start, you know, you know sort of saying do you know what though you'll be doing one thing at a time it won't it'll be okay you'll be able to manage them as you go it, it doesn't do that because that isn't really the way the mind works what it does is just like blast all these things and it feels really overwhelming and um and constricting and it's understandable that if you're feeling like that you you feel really rubbish too because our mood goes down with it OK, so we're always feeling our thinking in any given moment. Um, and if you've got like all these things to do, then it's no wonder you feel like your mood's gone down with it. So it's not necessarily about feeling anxious. It's just feeling, God, that feels like a lot. Um, but what's really interesting. And I encourage listeners to just see that, see for themselves. But essentially, we can really only do one thing at a time. I mean, we joke that women can multitask and men can't, but what's really interesting is when we do end up doing the thing that our mind says is going to be incredibly hard and really challenging, that's not necessarily true. We end up having a different experience. So there's lots of directions that I would point this particular listener to, but the first one would be to see what really is causing the overwhelm. Is it the single things that we're doing or is it 
the thought of doing everything because I could bet it's just the the thought of having to do all of that and that's meant to feel constricting because it's actually necessarily not true because we can only do one thing at a time and in real time we have the resources to deal with each task in hand which means that if we're sitting on a bench in the park watching our children play and we're thinking of all the things that we need to do and really we haven't really got time for being in the park we've got work deadlines or you know food shops and all these things that go with it it's remembering that really all that's going on in this present moment is i'm sitting on this bench now the mind isn't going to go okay then that's nice that's really nice yeah but it's not it's still wanting to talk but it's seeing and just being curious that it just loves to talk about the future it likes to go into the past and it also has a negative spin and thinks oh well how are you going to cope with it all it's just really interesting when we just look at that or just examine that or we explore in that direction um And I guess it's then all the leisure activities and all those things just kind of naturally and organically slot in because when we kind of the starting point and seeing where that overwhelm's coming from, your pace naturally slows down and we become more present. And, you know, the rest unfolds in a lot. In an easier way, I guess. Oh, thank you for that um i'm sorry if i put you off before because i was i was like laughing to myself because um uh you said near the beginning of, of your answer about how um like a brain like you you would only do one thing at a time but a brain doesn't position it like that right it does it doesn't say oh hey you've got this one thing and then there'll be one other thing after that and the, the image that came to mind which i couldn't stifle was um <laughs> was a, per a person it reminded me of the ice bucket challenge from a few years ago um which was all over social media and i, I was just thinking of lip myself right just like stood still but with like this like a brain putting um throwing this massive bucket of cold icy water over me rather than like having like a, a drip in it in a tap or something where we like drip 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 things throughout the day it was just like this icy water like and that's kind of what overwhelm feels like it feels like this bucket of icy water being thrown on you when actually what actually happens in in the physical act the material doing of the day is one thing at a time like if you were to look at yourself through the day right with like no sound on and no brain chatter sound no audio but just seeing Becca does this, then she does the next thing, then she does the next thing, right? So it looks very different physically than what it looks, it's what it sounds and feels like in our mind. And I just think that's that's interesting to kind of notice that. So thanks for your answer. I also thought of another thing. Um, and I was thinking of myself um relatively recently and also a couple of clients where we've been on holiday and we still felt like that, right? So there was nothing else to do apart from like enjoy yourself and it's like oh god yeah but what about rah, rah, rah. and so i think that just noticing that as you have um continued to point to throughout our conversation that's what a brain does like noticing that a brain is always going to bloody do that right it kind of makes it less credible um so it's like the um it's like a politician that's just always serving up the same shit it's like all all trousers and no what's that phrase <laughs> <laughs> what you mean i don't know uh yeah. something about trousers anyway it's it's full of shit it's full of shit it's not got any backbone it's got no got no integrity it just has the same way of doing things all the time which is throwing icy water at you <laughs> okay. 